Announce us. The Magister's invitation was for Mistress Lavellan and no one else. You lot wait here. Where I go, they go. My Lord Magister, the agents of the Inquisition have arrived. My friend, it's so good to see you again. And your associates, of course. I'm sure we can work out some arrangement that is equitable to all parties. Are we mages to have no voice in deciding our fate? Fiona, you would not have turned your followers over to my care if you did not trust me with their lives. If the Grand Enchanter wants to be part of these talks, then I welcome her as a guest of the Inquisition. Thank you. The Inquisition needs mages to close the breach, and I have them. So, what shall you offer in exchange? I'd much rather discuss your time magic. I'm afraid I have no idea what you mean. She knows everything, Father. Felix, what have you done? You wanted me here. Why? Do you know what you are? You walk into my stronghold with your stolen mark, a gift you don't even understand, and think you're in control. You're nothing but a mistake. If I'm a mistake, what exactly was the breach supposed to accomplish? It was to be a triumphant moment for the Elder One. For this world. Father, listen to yourself. Do you know what you sound like? He sounds exactly like the sort of villainous cliché everyone expects us to be. Dorian, I gave you a chance to be a part of this. You turned me down. The Elder One has power you would not believe. He will raise the Imperium from its own ashes. What's better than turning back time? He will make the world bow to mages once more. We will rule from the Boric Ocean to the frozen seas. You can't involve my people in this. Alexius, this is exactly what you and I talked about never wanting to happen. Why would you support this? Stop it, father. Give up the Venatori. Let the Southern Mages fight the Breach, and let's go home. No. It's the only way, Felix. He can save you. Save me? There is a way. The Elder One promised, if I undo the mistake at the Temple... I'm going to die. You need to accept that. Seize them, Venatori. The Elder One demands this woman's life. Your men are dead, Alexius. You are a mistake. You should never have existed. No! The Elder One. Where'd they come from? Displacement. Interesting. It's probably not what Alexius intended. The rift must have moved us to what? The closest confluence of arcane energy? The last thing I remember, we were in the castle hall. Let's see. If we're still in the castle, it isn't. Oh, of course, it's not simply where, it's when. Alexius used the amulet as a focus. It moved us through time. Moved us through time? Can that even be done? 
Normally, I would say no. Obviously, Alexius has taken his research to exciting new heights. We've seen his temporal rifts before. This time, we simply passed through one. Let's look around, see where the rift took us. Then we can figure out how to get back. If we can. What was Alexius trying to do? I believe his original plan was to remove you from time completely. If that happened, you would never have been at the Temple of Sacred Ashes or mangled his Elder One's plan. I think your surprise in the Castle Hall made him reckless. He tossed us into the rift before he was ready. I counted it. The magic went wild, and here we are. Makes sense? It just seems so insane. I don't even want to think about what this will do to the fabric of the world. We didn't travel through time so much as punch a hole through it and toss it into the privy. But don't worry. I'm here. I'll protect you. There were others in the hall. Could they have been drawn through the rift? I doubt it was large enough to bring the whole room through. Alexius wouldn't risk catching himself or Felix in it. They're probably still where and when we left them. In some sense, anyway. And what happens if we can't get back? Then we get comfortable in our new present. <laughs>